Welcome in Renegades. So today we're going to talk about this crypto that shocked me, Nervos Network CKB. Now, this is a layer one blockchain. Um, it is a proof of work, um, which is going to lead us into our very first topic. Now, I am interested in this crypto. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos about it because it's like one of my top five crypto picks right now. Um, that I'm I'm investing in myself. Now for the channel, I definitely am going to um, tell you to do your own research. Some crazy stuff is happening. Um, one of my favorite parts of blockchain are capabilities. Like there are tokens that I just like. And I, I, I like CKB just as a token. But the things that it can do are things that I'm already very interested in with the other crypto projects that I like. I like certain ways that cryptos can do things. Um, and, and then it also does some things that, that um, some of the cryptos that I like don't do, like mining. Okay, and that's going to lead us into the very first part of our video, and that is going to bring us over here. Um, why proof of work? Well, CKB leverages the battle-tested proof of work like Bitcoin, right? Uh, the consensus algorithm to ensure exceptional security and decentralization under all conditions. It is truly decentralized, permissionless, and uniquely resistant to capture by adversarial actors. Miningpoolstats.com provides a list of CKB mining pools and other useful statistics so you can figure out where you can mine over there. Another thing that I really thought is really beneficial and one of the other favorite things, and this is why I like CKB. I'm just, I'm telling you the reason why this crypto shocked me because it does a lot of the things that I need a crypto to do to feel comfortable with a long-term investment. If not, I'm just going to pump and dump and get out. Um, but I don't see CKB as a pump and dump. I think it's an altcoin that can be held for multiple bull markets. I've seen the way it uh, performed in the last bull run. And this is one of the main reasons um, that I like this, which is weird because this is a proof of work. This is what really shocked me here. Okay, this is a proof of work consensus model. As you saw, you can mine. So this leads me into the staking part. Well, how can you stake CKB if it is proof of work, not proof of stake? Right. Those are two different models on the EUs. As you know, Ethereum went from proof of work where you could mine Ethereum to now proof of stake, um, which is where um, you don't use energy intensive um, compute, but you actually use the actual compute within the um, ecosystem through the staking. It creates that compute that needs uh, to run these and verify these transactions. So this was very interesting to me and it really shocked me when I, I was able to find out that you can stake CKB, a proof of work crypto, um, by a, a certain mechanism that they introduced um, through a DAO. And it looks like it's some sort of a layer two um, on Nervos that you can you can do this. Uh, if I understand this correct, this is why it shocked me. I mean, it's kind of crazy. So new DeFi apps will continue to be added to the Nervos ecosystem for the foreseeable future. But today there are a few options to earn rewards on the CK by two hole. The most simple and safest method is using the Nervos DAO. Well, not technically staking, the Nervos DAO acts as an inflation shelter that allows you to earn compounded interest from locking your funds. The current APY is approximately 2.83%. And so the way that Jordan Mack, who is on the channel, you should check out that interview um, with Jordan Mack, um, team member of Nervos Foundation, um, was on the channel. And he, he explained this as a kind of a rent mechanism, right? So when you store data on the Nervos network, right? You pay rent to store that data, um, which is in CKB, right? And that CKB that is in there acts as this um, sort of, you know, interest, right? Annual percentage. And, and I just thought this mechanism from a proof of work using a DAO uh, to pay in rent from data storage was another thing that I really love that you can store data um, and it being multi-chain, like this is everything that I look for in a crypto. And I didn't realize the capabilities that CKB had, or I would have been here a long, long time ago. And I actually use CK Bull Wallet. Uh, you can also use Neuron Wallet and Portal Wallet. 
This is another thing that I love. And I was just talking about this, the multi-chain capabilities of the Nervos Network, CKB. Um, and this is a layer two. Um, why build with Axon? So Axon, right? Axon. Uh, Axon facilitates the flow of assets and information between dApps built on different blockchains for a multi-chain future. With Axon, Web3 builders can easily transform their ideas into reality. Whatever your project is, whether it's GameFi, DeFi, or NFT, Axon offers a scalable and cost-effective framework to deploy your applications. And this is one thing that Jordan told me when I was in LA making the ICPCC 2024 uh, documentary with six figs about the FTX debacle. Um, this is one of the main things, the data storage, the staking on a proof of work, um, and then the multi-chain capabilities, native interoperability. As highly versatile framework, Axon enjoys suburb native interoperability. More than 100% EVM compatible, Axon will soon be compatible with inner blockchain communications protocol, the gateway to the Cosmos ecosystem, and so Nervos can do all blockchains. Um, uh, it's something the internet computer does awesome, and I, there's very few, very, very, very few that do it. And so uh, I'm picking my top two, and that, that's going to be CKB and ICP for that. Let's look at some oscillators today. We're going to get in some price. It looks like it's strong buy signals on the hourly. Let's, uh, yeah, strong, strong. Let's look at the five hours. Strong, strong. Daily, buy, buy, buy. Weekly, all buys. Let's see, monthly. Oh, strong buy on the monthly. So yeah, CKB looks like a really, really, really good buy right now. Uh, all the oscillators are telling us to buy uh, in the crypto bubbles. And the cool thing is you had a chance to buy at about 1.6 cents. Um, in the area I was really watching, we're down 4.2% today on the crypto bubbles. Uh, this is a good buying opportunity. We did just have another uh, move to the upside over here, um, which was a nice little... Uh, jaunt. As you see, this is what I was uh, doing last time. Uh, and it went right into my price targets here. Uh, this is the daily. I haven't made a video for like a week or more, a couple weeks on this. And it went right to my price targets here. So these are very important, guys, to watch these price targets and take take a screenshot of those. And then I'm going to do more at the end and we're going to do some new ones. But those are, those are the main ones I'm going to be watching. Um, especially on the daily, the, these are um, key levels that we're going to be seeing, especially this one as this downward trending um, trend line meets with this horizontal uh, support line. This is a big area going all the way back here. So if you follow a trend line uh, and this resistance line, that's going to be a nice support level. And we hit that exactly, exactly right there. So uh, let's clear this out. I want to start over. I just wanted to show you that. So that's why I said take a screenshot of those. Uh, so basically, we're having this nice um, little recovery here from, you know, uh, previous resistance turn support right here. As you see, this was resistance breakout confirm support. Go back up to this new high, uh, local high, not all time high. And then back down to test this area and confirm support on this level. This is the level that I would be looking to as this support level. And it hit it perfectly. So now the next level I'm really looking at is going to be right here, which is 2.4 cents. So that's going to be our next big move to the upside is going to be about 2.4 cents. As you see, we get rejected from here. You can see these candles trying to make it back up to that point right here and right here we're trying to get up there um you know and this these, these next couple of candles are going to be very important to see where these wicks end up uh to see anything like that but let's let's do this okay we have this nice breakout here of this trend line okay which is also an ascending triangle breakout which it isn't a very great ascending triangle. It'd probably look better. Let's go to the four hour. Uh, you could probably see an ascending triangle breakout over here on the four hour. Yep. So this is the ascending triangle breakout right here, which is a continuation pattern to the upside. And as you see, we went and broke above it. And then now we're testing it as support with these wicks that are 
both going back and forth. So uh, it's very neutral right now, which is good. It just means accumulation. We're not getting a whole lot of volume, um, which is okay as long as we, you know, confirm above here, stay around this point. Um, wow. We were literally down to 1.3 cents right here. This is crazy to see. Uh, this nice. And then how, how high did we move? So I'm, I'm really, really excited to see. Yeah, 48%. Like 20, yeah, 20 bars. Say from here to like here, 20 bars. 20 bars. So that that's 24-hour candles, and we really moved to the upside. This is so cool. Uh, making money, definitely putting orders in down here. Um, I would be watching a move down to this point again, 1.7. If we do a break here, this is going to be this downward trending resistance line, uh, this upward trending support line. And then we also have this as a support here for this previous support over here, resistance here, resistance, resistance, breakout. So this is an area I'm really watching. These are, these are areas. This is a, going to be a big support area. Look at all that support, that support, that support, and that support. Uh, let's get some moving averages here and then... Uh, I'm going to give you some price targets. So the EMA 9 is right below where we're at right now. Yeah, we're we're touching, we're testing that as support. So I would like to see where this EMA 200 is real quick. Okay, this is why we're not moving above this. If we can get above this level right here, 1.956 and confirm that as support instead of just testing it break out back under we're going to need to get back up there as you see we've been testing this 200 uh since over here since about april 15th so i'm going to be looking for a down um at 1.5 cents we're also going to be having some support at 1.7 cents um, there is going to be at 1.8 cents. This is going to be a big area. Now on the way up, we're looking at 2 cents, 205. Then we're looking at 21534. Right there, 1.76 cents. So there's a lot of support right here. With these trend lines, and these uh, support resistance levels with the EMA, let's get, you know, above that, stay above that, and we'll be good. Um, but we need to definitely, definitely um, progress above that for the long term. All right, guys, that being said, goodbye and good CKB.